Long time no see everyone, it's your old mate Jakargon back at it again. This time with a bit of a long requested Yoji Yamamoto sizing guide. Now as always if you're enjoying the content don't forget to like and subscribe. I really really do appreciate when you'll comment or get in touch and it's really a pleasure getting to know all of you and what you're into, what you're buying, what you're looking towards buying and I really do appreciate that some people come to me with sort of questions expecting me to know the answer and I do my best. I am not an expert. I think that should be very, very clear, but I'll do my best for you all. So thank you. I really do appreciate it. So actually for quite a while, a few people have been commenting here and there asking for more information about Yoji Yamamoto products and their sizing. and. I'll admit that the things that I was buying initially, I didn't actually know what I was talking about in retrospect. I still don't really know, but through trial and error, here we are today. And I think I've got a better idea of things to share with you in terms of how we're gonna figure this all out and go forwards. Also Stan, Dreamcatcher. In this house, we love Dreamcatcher. Okay. so. First and foremost, the speed run to all this sizing stuff. Here's the secret. Get your measurements. I'll always say this. Your measurements will trump sizing any day of the week. And through this video, you will see why. But honestly, get yourself a tape measure. Go down to your supermarket, your local weird variety store. Anywhere will have tape measures available. Get one, get your measurements and you will no, beyond any reasonable doubt, or at least a lot better than looking at a thing and being like, L, well, I'm an L in this other product, so it should fit me. And yeah, that's the speed run to all this. And yeah, that's the video. Thanks so much for watching. Uh, yeah, so moving on. So with a lot of Yoji products, you will see that the tags will say things like one, two, three, sometimes four, sometimes five. Now, initially I thought that one was small, two was medium, three was large and so on and so forth. And to an extent that can be correct. However, because it is Japanese sizing, these are sizes corresponding to the Japanese population, which they are relatively of smaller build and height than other parts of the world. So it does make it a bit confusing when you see a three and think it's an L and you put it on when you are an L in Western sizes and it just doesn't fit. So to try and like adjust the size a little bit, let's go something like this. If you see a size zero, assume that's an extra, extra small. If you see a size one, assume that is an extra small. A size two is a small, three is medium, four is large, and five is extra large. Now to give some examples of items that I do have with their sizing as well. This top that I'm wearing here, this open collar, the short sleeve mainline top, this is a size Four, and it does fit me okay. Like it's not too small, it's not too large. And it was one of the, those things that I went and looked at the measurements and was like, okay, look, it's a four. And because it's more, it looks more like a fitted shirt, I'm gonna try this rather than going for a three, which I guess didn't exist because it was a marketplace. But yeah, so this four fits me well and I'm generally a large in most products. However, that being said, this is where the measurements thing comes in. Okay, so I went to my wardrobe, grabbed a few tops that are Yoji tops, of course, and let's go through them. So we have a site, regular button up shirt. We have a black scandal long shirt, and then we have a ground wire extra long t-shirt. Now, sizing wise, which is which do you think? The black scandal top is a size two. The ground wire top is a size three. The side shirt is a size four. These all fit me. And ultimately, as we've been saying over and over again, it comes down to measurements. Now, the side shirt is quite wide and a bit looser fitting, but that's kind of what I was looking for. And I didn't really want something too tight as my other button up shirts are a bit tighter on my body because I'm a bit chunky. However, the Black Scandal long shirt, I went online and looked at it and I could only see that it was available in a size two and saw all the on body shots as looking quite oversized. So figured I'd take a chance on it. And this fits me well. Like it's not like it's too small or too oversized. I feel like it's just right. 
maybe a little on the slimmer side. However, it still does fit and I do quite like it a lot. And then finally, the ground Y top. This one is quite an oversized long fit. That's how it's supposed to be. But with a lot of ground Y tops and clothing, they are meant to fit oversized and large. So a size three, you can be pretty confident that it will fit you when it comes to those sort of clothes. Okay, now moving on to bottoms, pants, trousers, slacks, shorts, jorts, whatever you'd like to call them. With bottoms, it is pretty similar to the tops. However, with a lot of Yoji bottoms, they do have an elastic waistband. So there is a little bit of give depending on which size you choose to go for. But you always want to be absolutely sure that there is an elastic waistband when going for something, because if there is not an elastic waistband, you could screw yourself. I have done this to myself before, and I'm so nervous about buying any Yoji bottoms anymore that do not have an elastic waistband that I just steer clear of it. So if we're looking at the sizes to refresh again, zero extra extra small in terms of western sizing one extra small two small three medium four large five extra large now again a bit of a comparison of things i have a pair of yoji cargos they are a size two however on the sales post that i saw i saw that they listed that the waist went up to like 115 centimeters which is quite large comparatively, especially for a size two. And lo and behold, they fit. I don't know what kind of a size two these are for, but they do fit. Most of my other Yoji stuff, I would say actually all of my other Yoji bottoms are a size three and they all have an elastic waistband. One actually has a string waistband, kind of like Mo from The Simpsons. However, it also does have a lee bit of weight, so it does fit only just though, like I really cannot put any more weight on because then those pants will not fit, but maybe that's a benefit for you all and you can buy them, I suppose. So again, to reiterate sizing, get your measurements because these measurements will be listed on a lot of posts and if they're not listed, definitely ask. I find that getting the style code for the item that you are looking into, it can be found on the side bottom left edge area of a top or in pants, it can either be like where the regular tag is or along down one of the legs inside. It'll be a white tag and it'll have a mixture of letters and numbers, sometimes beginning with G, sometimes beginning with H, or there's many other options, sometimes S as well. Getting that style code and searching that in Google often does yield results of the item being sold on websites like the official Yoji website, or other ones like Fascinate, where they will have proper measurements listed too, including how wide waistbands go to allow for a bit of an idea of whether this size would be able to fit you as well. And you can also see how many different sizes are available in the product that you're looking for. So as I said earlier, in my case, with that Black Scandal long shirt, it only came in a size two. So thinking that there might be a size three out there, I was able to make sure that that was not the case. Okay, and to round up all of this, you can occasionally find Yoji products with regular SML tags on them. And heed my warning, <laughs> they are not to be trusted in terms of Western sizing. I guess we've already been through that, but I did buy a pair of size L pants and they did not fit me. They had the L tag on them and they just didn't fit. And now I have this pair of pants that don't fit. They're beautiful pants though. If you want to buy them, feel free to check out my Depop or my Grailed as they are listed there. So to make sure, just assume that it is as we have been saying earlier, where zero is extra, extra small. And so something like a large would be one size down. It'd be more towards a medium type size. There are also some of the Yoji Yamamoto collaboration with Against All Risks. I think they are a Taiwanese, a Taiwanese manufacturer and those suits and tailoring do come in sizes like AXL or 2XL. I'm not sure the exact comparisons to make with those, but as always, 
just get the measurements because the measurements will tell the true story here rather than the tag itself. Ultimately, I wish that all brands would do something like, I think Junjae has their proper measurements on each tag. It'll tell you like the pit to pit, the length, the width, which is just so helpful because you can look at any tag and be like, okay, regardless of whether this is an L or not, I can tell if it'll fit me by just looking at it, you know? So yeah, that is my sizing guide for Yoji products. Unfortunately, I am not familiar with their shoe sizing. However, with Japanese shoe sizing, you can often find centimeters and there's plenty of centimeters to your region's converters out online. So you can definitely check to see whether a pair of shoes will be able to fit you or not. So yeah, thanks for watching. Hopefully this was able to kind of give you a better idea on what kind of sizing suits you best in your search for Yoji products. If you'd like to see anything more, I would like any more information on something else or further expand on this, let me know in the comments below. Uh, happy to help out in any way that I can. I know that there is a request as well for a breakdown of the different Yoji sub labels and such, which is a larger video than I think it'll be because I only know like a couple of them and there's a lot. There's a lot. <laughs> Hopefully you found this informative. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all take care of yourselves. Have fun. Be safe wherever you are. And as always, don't do anything I'd do except get your measurements. Just get your measurements, please. And I keep speeding everywhere. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Until next time. Bye-bye.